What's up traders? Zach here from the Trading Network. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this video is another video from the Community Request Playlist. And this video is going to be discussing uh, the understanding and the utilization of Delta. Uh, this is going to be a pretty or rather quick video and uh, kind of like a TLDR or an in a nutshell explanation, if you will, uh, because this is actually a topic that I am creating an entire module on uh, for my Fundamentals of Futures Trading uh, revamp. So I'm gonna be adding a lot of bonus modules and extra topics to the Fundamentals of Futures Trading. And I'm also releasing a market profile course as well. Um, but this is going to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how you can start using Delta and uh, Delta indicators. Like I have showing these waves on screen here, and I have this Delta indicator at the bottom of my screen as well. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this piece of price action right here. Uh, and mainly or specifically, we are going to be looking at these pink and blue numbers. This is mainly what I pay attention to in addition to everything else that I always look at, like oscillators, candlestick structure, major levels, moving averages, etc. So what we have here is a delta indicator. Uh, it is a delta wave indicator specifically created by uh, one of our members in our private community. So uh, again, just uh, to be exceptionally clear, uh, we have community members in the TTN private discord who are developing their own indicators and then sharing them with the community for free. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. So with that said, uh, what this is showing us is the net buyers and sellers on each of these waves. So a blue number is a positive delta of 168 contracts. That means that there was 168 more contracts bought than sold on this wave right here. Okay. Same thing right here. This means that there were 684 more contracts sold than bought on this down leg. And that's pretty normal, right? Where you see more sellers and buyers on a down leg and more buyers and sellers on an up leg. Where you can gain edge from this is looking at something like this, where we have, you know, some standard bullish divergence, right? Boom, 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 boom. And we actually have bullish divergence on the uh, Delta histogram down there as well. So we have bull div, we have technically it's confirmed right here uh, because this candle closes above the top of this, but this is pretty solid candlestick structure right there as well. And we have major levels in the area. This is the opening range high, part of the TTN indicator package. This is the 377 EMA. This is the 200 EMA. And then we have VWAP up here. So we have some good levels if price does move above, good levels for support below, even this low of the divergence. So what the delta is telling us in this example is that the sellers are getting weaker, okay? And you can see that this down here is basically just a visualization of these numbers, okay? So there are 684 more buyers and sellers on this down leg. And on this down leg where we make lower lows and show divergence, there is less selling pressure. The sellers are getting weaker here, right? So if you put these things together, watch my technical checkbox video, or I think it's a, how we create a story in our trading, and I will link that above as well. But this is how you can start to develop a, an edge or you know use Delta as kind of a cherry on top for confirmation. So we have bullish divergence. We have major levels in the area. Again, these moving averages, we have opening range high right there. We have good candlestick structure and we have the sellers getting weaker, right? So that's four pieces of, you know, technical information in your favor for a long trade right there. And of course you have a good spot to base your stop loss. So I would pop my stop loss down here, either enter on this candle or this candle, preferably this one, because I still think it's worth the risk because that is, you know, maybe one or two points, uh, if that within confirming that div, but it doesn't technically confirm it there. So, um, we, you know, you could nitpick that and either enter here or here, but regardless, it's a really high probability trade. The Delta helps you confirm that entry by showing you that sellers are getting weaker when the divergence is coming in. And that is a good sign that it's a high probability setup and that you probably want to put risk on. Now let's check out an opposite example, right? 
do we have divergence here? Could be argued that we have, oh, we definitely have it on delta. So check this out. Moving down. I don't know why my drawing tool is giving me problems here. There we go. Boom. Boom. Okay. So it would be, even though this is like the prime entry right here where this candle closes below the low of this candle right there, um, that would be a little bit more risky. But if you wait for some delta confirmation and especially a lower high, which you guys know that I love, this candle closes below this, confirms the lower high. After the divergence, the delta goes from 1.3 thousand more contracts bought than sold on this up leg to only 74 more contracts bought than sold on this little up leg right here. We confirm a lower high once again. So again, technical checkboxes. We have buyers getting weaker here. We have a major level right here, and we have another major level right here. And I believe this is a profile level as well today. So once you see price making a lower high with buyers very, very clearly, significantly, I mean, think about the ratios, right? When this is a huge drop. So when you see, you know, 70, 80, 90% drop in buying strength on an indicator like this, for instance, that tells you sellers are getting weaker, candles and price structure overall with a lower high helps you confirm that. The oscillators, this is an interesting example because the oscillators aren't great here, right? This is where, you know, the oscillators look better, but with all of the overall confirmation, this is the proper entry in my opinion. You can either pop your stop loss above this high or pop your stop loss above this, and you've got a lot of levels to target, of course, on the way back down. So uh, that is my relatively quick little video. Uh, I'm trying to keep it, uh, yeah, under 10 minutes. So did a good job of that. And I think that I did a good job of providing some good information for you guys to uh, chew on and experiment with for, you know, some good extra confirmation utilizing Delta and trading with it. So uh, again, if you guys are interested, if you guys are interested in this indicator, um, it is not public, but you can get access to it with access to the Trading Network private Discord channel. Um, and again, you can get access to all of these other tools as well in the Trading Network proprietary indicator package. So uh, I hope this helps. Uh, please make sure that you check out the tradingnetwork.io where you can, of course, find uh, ways to purchase the Trading Network proprietary indicator package, access to the Discord, the fundamentals of futures trading, all for uh, payment plans as well if you would like to make it a little bit easier on the wallet. So um, please let me know down in the comments if there's any questions you guys have. If I can help in any way, I will do my very best, and I will see you in the next video. Much love.